ready very good afternoon to the entire family of hnd ideally uh, people can put their uh, you know uh, on themselves in mute and also you can put off the video so that uh, you will not have any problem in receiving so we'll uh, this initiative of the firm to have all india discussions we thought that we could start with why we exist and uh, for this the partners all the partners we thought that as the vision mission and value statement was done a few years back we wanted to make it more present more aligned to the understanding of the millenniums who form 80% of our office i am a bit old two steps beyond the millenniums and therefore we have looked at this one of the thought process which came is that there should be a purpose for us the why why did we start this firm why are we doing carrying on growing for understanding those reasons we thought that we should add a purpose so the purpose of hnda is that we believe in adding value while serving businesses and people professionally and our vision which is more or less the same vision which was there earlier we made it little crisp and some of the aspects which were how to do what we are committed to we shifted into the mission and the value statement so as far as our vision which we have thought now that is a partners group we want to be the preferred professional organization trusted to deliver excellence these are broad thought processes the way i have done this presentation is that after the purpose and vision some of the key words i would like to look at and explain and in the end we will have a few question answers maybe we'll give about 15 minutes time after the one hour i may take to make this presentation approximately one hour so first is the word serve serve is a very important word and why do we want to serve we want to serve because we want to improve ourselves we want to move from being followers in this firm to leaders of the firm you have seen several examples of people who joined our office before qualification as articles or as as uh, even administrative staff today they are they had the facility to become partners they did become partners also so the basic thought process of the firm is then that when we serve others it prepares us to lead others so who are the people we serve when we start uh, when we work in this firm we serve the government india as a whole we serve the profession we help the profession to develop to become more i would say professional itself knowledgeable we also serve the firm because the firm has to exist firm has to grow we also serve as i think uh, somebody has to mute all other people if possible i cannot do it for sure or people have to put it in mute one of the thought processes Sir, I, will, i will mute all including you i'll mute uh, for a minute you can unmute and speak Yeah, Madhuka sir, you can unmute and speak. 
thanks sudhir for that uh, it is surprising that you know i have been uh, on this uh, using computers for 30 years but still others have to sort out for me uh, problems which come up one of the thought one of the quotes which i love to uh, see was by albert einstein you know he was one of the creative uh, innovators of uh, the century with only one because everyone can serve that means only by serving i can become great there are a lot of other uh, people who are who have become great because of serving if i look at it even our present prime minister though they he has been uh, supported by people who may not be in his stature as far as service is concerned you see no scams biggest advantage of this present government he has very strong intentions whether he bought the benami act demonetization gst you know when gst was supposed to come it was told that once gst comes the government is going to lose but he proved us wrong proved all these people wrong it the lack of results in india is because of the people around him among the people around him there are some great people some two of them are chartered accountants suresh prabhu and i would say piyush goel to some extent you have gadkari people are there who are really aligned to him but everybody is not and the implementation done by the executive has been short of good i think still there are some people who are uh, there on this call who have not muted themselves please mute so that i don't get interrupted the bible has a very great saying on this it says as you shall sow so shall you reap that means if you put a proper seed nourish it then you get the fruit this is a natural law also law of nature it's just like gravity you serve and you shall get back nothing goes to waste in this world the next very important word is trust we need to get the trust of the clients and we need to ensure that we don't lose that trust if you have seen in this period challenging period of pan pandemic the entire office each and every one of you has contributed in serving the clients at a enhanced level not value added services we can give we have looked at expanding their knowledge number of initiatives our website now is something which we can be proud of each and every one of you should visit the website look at the blogs look at the uh, the videos which are there the updated articles more than 60 70 people have worked to make our firm where we are however trust is very fragile it's easy to break or lose and very hard to get back we had some instances in the top management on this also he who does not trust enough will not be trusted so if my partners don't trust me then i i cannot trust them if i, I don't trust them then i will not be trusted famous uh, philosopher lao tzu of china said this excellence a word which is uh, i think we have been doing a very good quality of work and we have been doing it to the best of our capability but in this last two months when we have gone through this learning session we came to know that we could have done much more excellence is also a ongoing thing it doesn't uh, end uh, any time it is mastery over our work it is also linked to our enjoyment if i enjoy my work 
I do something which is correct. I know how to do it. I enjoy it also. Then master, mastery and excellence are a result, automatic result. I want to succeed. I want to live my life to my full potential. Many have done in our firm. We have seen that many of us have small goals or smaller goals than our capacity. After we have talked to them, after we have had some sharing, we find that suddenly that person shows immense potential. We have had maybe about 50 to 50 people minimum in our firm who have transformed to succeed and they are living to their full potential. Not only the professional life, most of us are spending substantial portion of our life in profession, but not only in profession, in our own life, we have made things better. One of the things which is very important to understand is whatever we want to do, unless we make it a habit, it does not continue. Not continuing a good thing because of some small road, road humps in the way is something which all of us are prone to that particular challenge. So make it a habit. Once you make excellence a habit, then nothing can stop you inside or outside the firm. This was also told by a three uh, philosopher, Greek philosopher Aristotle. 3000 years back, he said this. We have also seen the amazing results in self-confidence and self-esteem of our people when we adopt excellence. We don't, we want perfection, we move towards it. We know perfection can never be achieved 100%. But we keep moving towards it. That is what is the quality of excellence. Next, I would like to look at our mission. Here we have had a little of changes and uh, I would like to also uh, first read it out and then explain it. Remember, most of you possibly know 80% or whatever I am speaking. I am only looking at clarity of that balance 20%. We want to provide consistent high quality services which exceed expectations. We want to have a practical problem solving approach to all our clients. Depending on where we are, this can be applied. Most of our functions are value added functions which we provide to the client. Maybe advice, maybe planning for the taxes, maybe tax optimization, ITC maximization, all these are covering around 80-85% of the work we do. We also do the 9C, which is an attest function, where probably we are more inclined to ensure that the client does not get disputes, which are unnecessary, and also have safety for him. And while having safety for him, remember, we are a big firm. We are located everywhere. There are a lot of eyes on us. People are waiting for us to make, it a, make a mistake and we may be hauled up before the disciplinary committee of the ICAI. So we have to be very conservative while doing the attest functions. Today's environment is fast changing and patience of our clients is very low. Whatever they come with, they may come with a problem which is one month old but when they come to us, they want the answer either tomorrow or yesterday. We have to be responsive to them. We can't make them wrong. Making the client wrong is something which is a death knell for any professional. Don't make the client wrong. While expressing that you require enough time to give him good advice, we have to be very responsive. We cannot take a month to give an advice. We cannot uh, send a mail saying, please send us the following and keep quiet. We have to follow up with him, be responsive and see that he gets the uh, required results as soon as possible. One of the qualities which has been thought of as uh, versatile is that we should be able to uh, get expertise quickly in any new area. You have seen that when uh, service tax went, excise went, we had a lot of internal, even at the client's level, we had some doubts. What is going to happen? We used to be a firm which is having expertise in several laws 
and now all those laws have been combined to make it one law. We also ensure that professionals understood this subject and more than one lakh professionals we supported to get into GST practice. After making them come into GST practice, our own practice, we made our competitors. If you look within our office itself, we had people we mentored like Sandesh, Annapurna, Akshara group was there. Many of them have become very successful GST practitioners. We nurtured our competitors, but did we go back? No, we are on top. We are one of the top firms in India today, other than probably the big eight in indirect taxes. And possibly with all your support in three years time, we should be the firm as we have stated in our vision. Versatility is something you have to build. You have to build the facility of being flexible New areas of practice we can take up. Even in our all partners and managers meet, many of you came up with many suggestions and uh, these suggestions have, you have seen that they have started. Empowering ourselves, starting in the area of customs, SEZ. Recently, we looked at uh, the uh, incentives in various uh, states which are available. FTP we have taken up in a big way. We are certainly a versatile firm and all of you need to be versatile to succeed yourself and make us succeed. We have also this the starting of this firm was I was a proprietor for 14 years and uh, one of the reasons why I took up a partnership was that we should create leaders because in the short time when I was proprietor five six leaders came out of our office. And people said, why are you restricting yourself? Why do you want to only create small numbers? Why don't you go for creating 50, 100 leaders? And today I can tell you very confidently, we have already done this. Now we may be looking at 1000. We'll create 1000 more leaders, knowledgeable, committed, and they should have profession. They should be professionals. They should be ethical. And we have proved that following ethics is a success mantra rather than something which stops us. Next, very important three terms, consistency, quality and commitment. Consistency is not doing uh, you know, one job wonderfully all the time, every time. It should become a habit. That's the way to stand out. You go to them, they will deliver. That is the confidence the client gets. Consistent work leads to success. I took this saying from Dwayne Johnson, you know, he's an actor, that very heavily muscled actor uh, who is there in Jumanji and various other uh, movies, which some of you have, must have seen. One can stand out when we persevere. Persevere is there will be roadblocks, there will be challenges. Step back, look at it again, make your goal again, reiterate what you need to do, and then one can stand out. Look at some of the things we have done. KCA, it's a journal which we have been uh, contributing to. Earlier, I think Rajesh used to give it, then Rupa, Mahadev. We also had Srikanth, ex-partner of ours who had done it. Now we have Mahadev. And you will see that his articles keep coming in KCA. 20 odd years we have done this. Our updates are being looked forward for, especially after it has been enhanced in its, uh, I would say, presentation and content by the knowledge management group led by Rupa, supported by Ashish, Vikram, Ravi, etc. Our monthly knowledge management uh, series, which we have also, in, uh, which we are going to ensure that it becomes a part of your Saturday learning once in a month. The number of articles written, our assistants, the article assistants have been writing articles which are getting more than one lakh views in tax group. Amazing, I will tell you. Online sharing. This was started long back, I think in 2009. I was the largest answerer in indirect tax in India on the ICI website. 
that is the pdici dot that site somehow become little redundant many many more things we have done many of you share online i can think of many i wouldn't like to mention but whether it is north south or west we find online sharing being done by all of you whatever little you know analyze get it vetted by uh, uh, our uh, partners or experts within and publish consistently when you do, do it you make a name for yourself and automatically h and a also gains in that as far as quality is concerned we are professionals we have got the ca degree we didn't get it just like that we studied a large number of things code of ethics was there we said that anything you do you should do in a manner in which it can be repeated with the same quality uniformity of high level quality so how did we do this we are following the standards which are applicable to gst we are having internal checklists whether it is for uh, uh, you know assistance whether it is for filing returns whether it's for re uh, reviewing an audit and on a, at a higher level partners how they review your audit itself is also having a standard checklist all this has resulted in our quality being better than others and the more we follow this we will reach a position where nobody in india can compete with us it will come only with high intention or each one of us especially the leaders first level leaders second level leaders we our intention should be clear we should not be put off because we say that we can't fill up the checklist in a real time should we execute or should we do the checklist i am very clear even if we do 20% less work checklist should be up our quality technical standards should be followed sincere effort should be put by us and anyway our execution i think i am always saying that our execution has been above the rest of the india remember the only time when we how we can say and validate that we have done well is when we match or exceed the client's expectation very very important 100 clients we give service to 90 of them said wow wow if 10 of them find something where we can improve that is where we should improve for this there is a support which each one of you can give to the organization whether it's a partner designated partner senior manager manager team leader article you have to see that you get genuine feedback from the clients whether it is through uh, what is that monkey something or on your own see that it is in writing all improvement should be escalated to your partners and maybe even to the quality team led by shilpi and ravi they have done a wonderful job i would say as partners they have been busy in their job but still taken out time to see that they do this so kudos to both of them because they have done something which uh, i think is going to help it's like a foundation they have put a foundation for h and a to leap frog grow fast one of the thought processes which is there is many of this many of us including me sometimes boast a lot but then we may not deliver so as a professional the best quality is to under promise and over deliver this will also add to your integrity which is one of the value statements which will understand a little later the commitment what we have is some something which leads to action if i don't have commitment i do things only because somebody else says so even if some partner is pushing you to do so do a particular activity in a particular way look at it as to why you cannot own that and then you do your action because you believe in it me not believing in what i do is what brings boredom it what brings you know lethargy and quality will fall there each one of your goals if you just have a commitment to reach your life goals i am not talking about professional goals alone even your own life goals like you want to uh, you know concentrate on your hobbies like maybe music 
maybe drawing, maybe sketching. You want to be a judge. You want to be in politics in a clean way. All this can come if you have commitment to, you, to your goals. The last uh, part of our, uh, you know, you can say the mission statement or the purpose vision, uh, vision statement is our core values. On behalf of all of you and on behalf of all the partners, all of us are committed to the following. Integrity, which means doing the right things in a fair and very important ethical manner. Many of you are so proud that our firm does not pay bribe. We don't have to kowtow to any departmental officer. We can help him. We can support him. We can teach him in the nations, but we don't have to bow to anybody on this earth. That is what integrity is about. And doing it in an ethical manner does not reduce the chance of you to do well. Maybe short term, you may find some advantage in doing something unethical, but first of all, it is not something which is allowed. Unethical behavior in this firm, even at the partner's level, will lead to exit. That is something which all partners have understood and they have been sharing with all of you. We have been known to have the knowledge edge in indirect taxes. And I'm very happy that uh, in this challenging pandemic situation, some of our partners took it on. I would like to mention Ashish, Anil, Venkat, they took it on to teach us the depths of the subject. And let me tell you, in these last two months, what I have learned, I wouldn't have learned in the last five years. Wonderful team, wonderful work. We got some gems out of our office. Manish, whom uh, many of us thought is an introvert, came out as a shining star out of this. In fact, he is also taking classes in the advanced course now. I'm just thinking how I missed, uh, you know, utilizing him, though he has been with us for so long. Bhavesh, Bhavesh who is doing, you know, videos for the whole country. Now, people like this are going to take our firm further. He will head, the, uh, head us in Raipur in due course of time. Arjun, who never says no, but sometimes because of his saying no, some of you might not have got your work done, especially on the book front. Independence is very important, especially after we started 9C. Before 9C came, independence was there in us, but we were more client-centric at that time. We did not have a problem. As far as the test function is concerned, it is absolutely without concern for the client. You have to do the right thing. You should be unbiased. I will talk a little more on that a little later. You know that innovation is something which has brought people to the fore. You look at Infosys. It came because of its inno innovation. You look at Mark Z uh, you know, Zuckerberg, who is Facebook. He's investing in Reliance. He's investing in Geo. You look at Amazon, Jeff Bezos. All these people are people who focused on innovation and once they had innovation as their primary criteria, they thought originally, they thought differently. They had an out-of-box approach. We have at least a dozen such people in our firm. They may be at the partner's level. They may be at the designated partner's level, senior manager level, or in the articles level. If, you want, if I can see at least in each category two, three people who are no less than the Bill Gates of the world. We require to have passion to make a difference. Difference where? In the right way. Remember, this is all to be read together. Inspired to make a difference in the right direction. Our firm has traditionally been having a lot of social responsibility. While some of the social responsibility is growing the firm is the biggest social responsibility. The next biggest social responsibility is sharing our knowledge with those who are with us. Knowledge share is something which we have made into a cult in our firm. It's a cult thing. It's not there everywhere. In many of the firms where, uh, where some of you might have been employed, especially the qualifieds, you would have seen how the partners keep everything to themselves. Do not give you an opportunity. 
here we give our opportunity even to the article to excel this particular powerpoint has been done by an article i he is so dependable from uh, bangalore so what i am trying to say that social responsibility is a big thing we have focused we have chosen to focus on education and training because it is synergistically for us we could have taken some other areas also and maybe going forward partners will come up with other areas of social responsibility let's understand each of these when i look at integrity and independence the first characteristic of the code of ethics specified for professionals is integrity let us understand also integrity is not just words so any of us not having integrity you should feel free to bring out that we are not having it many of my partners at time have told me sir you are talking about integrity but you yourself have not kept your word and this has brought brought me back into the path of integrity this is also the most respected trait for leaders if you look at throughout the world for any professional integrity is what brings them respect and if i want to be a leader and i don't have integrity i don't keep my word i don't call back in time i don't join a a, a call in time i join 2 minutes late i don't close in time my whatever i have thought of i cannot if i have given time till 130 or 115 i should close by that time there is no question of me saying since i am the leader i am the top i am the founder partner i can take all of you for granted i should not take that next is independence very very important we should not be in control of anybody else client may be a very big client and in fact in the uh, in gurgaon we had a client who said that you need not do our 9c unless you do this and uh, our uh, partner there did not bow did not bend and we wrote to the board and the board very graciously told us please complete the audit and they paid us also whereas the first person had said he will neither pay us for our work nor he will accept our report he was a chartered accountant senior chartered accountant but then what is it that we prove that clients cannot control us we will do the right thing we will not allow influences of money influences of you know future work threats we will remove you from the panel in fact uh, i think the older partners will remember when we used to do bank audit every bank audit used to be a big fight and they would say we will blacklist you but nothing happened in fact our name was considered as one of those people who do a good job until we decided that we don't want to do bank audit and that was decided because i was planning to go to the institute and i didn't want any conflict because many of the institute leaders are after work when they go to the institute they get the big psus in fact if you look at us we lost the big clients when i was in the institute there is a very good chapter in the book uh, which has been written by ravi and mahadev on ethics i would suggest that when the book comes out each one of you imbibe those into your life when i look at innovation passion and giving innovation is by embracing competition i always say your competition is only you you don't have to bother about what where the biggest uh, you know law firm in indirect tax is doing how are they doing it are they doing it ethically are they compromising themselves are they bowing bowing to the revenue officers are they indulging in fixing the officers are they in indulging in transferring honest officers are questions which they have to answer so we will embrace all competition because our only competition is h and a we want to change to excel think out of the box to excel steve jobs you know who he is what does he say he says that innovation is the difference between followers and leaders you innovate you become the leader 
passion or passion passionate love what we do we love what we do the problem is we love it too much so we don't want to do this administrative job we don't want to do the documentation job but that is also comes with the love with the excitement we get in doing our work where people pat us on our back people recognize us for the good work they send mails saying what a wonderful team you have x y z amazing guys the way they have grown the type of response they give the type of involvement they have when we get these mails our heart swells with pride i am sure the person who does it also his heart also swells with pride pleasure in job puts perfection in the work can we reach perfection as we said earlier no but we can strive for perfection and that will ensure excellent quality and total client satisfaction as total again i love this guy because he has said very very powerful things which have made an impact on my life and which has made an Im- impact to be what i am remember i come with lot a bag of difficulties my memory is not so good uh, i am a little stra- impatient sometimes i jump to conclusions with all this thanks to your generosity especially of my partners we have been able to grow this form to the level it is and we are going to grow it more this pandemic is only a temporary bump where we require your support to ensure that you also tighten the belt along with each one of the partners we have given up up to 70% of our drawing in this period for this year if needed passion is what fuels the energy to have a powerful focus and it can excite each and every one of us and that is what you should bring to your work coming to a job saying oh this is a boring job is not what brings what makes you powerful what makes you grow the last giving you know in this firm we have kept on giving i had 100% of the firm in 2002 now i might have 30% or 35% of the firm we kept giving up each of us me sudhir rupa akbar we kept giving up our share not only them all the partners we kept giving up to admit new partners we gave a share of profit we gave a share of our the gross we gave certain incentives to all the all many of the deserving we gave up to get a larger to reach our larger vision we also didn't have to lose each one of us earned more i think this year may be the only year when all of us collectively will earn less than what we did last year because this pandemic is a challenging situation it will take a little time to normalize and therefore each one of us have to sacrifice for the for the world for our clients for the firm and ourselves so that we become empowered post the pandemic period even now we are the blessed in india if you look at it what is it that we don't have 60% of india is poor and in our office we have fostered the poor we have supported the poor, poor. we have motivated the poor people from rural areas we have taken them under our shield we said the people from rural areas are more loyal more learning all we need to do is give them an opportunity and most of you have shown us that our trust in you is good and you have contributed like anything but we have to know that we have to be grateful to our families to the firm to the universe which has given us such a lot we need to give back and in nature day we have decided to give back by way of education of those who cannot afford we have educated till now or supported in education of about 1400 people they are maybe as a sales boy or sales girl in the in the jainagar area some of them became chartered accountants three of them are there who are in the course of becoming chartered accountant these are people who stay in slums they are looking at and they will be chartered accountants 
this is what is possible because of giving they have become leaders in their own right so we want to educate edu we want to educate without class without differentiation we educate girls and boys alike we educate hindus and muslims alike more than 150 muslim boys and girls have got taken advantage and made their life who have taken support or i should say not taken support it's a wrong word to use we have chosen to give support and they have allowed us the facility of supporting them and become great people good citizens of india we will, we are also supporting others to grow the chartered accountants we have akshara study circle in bangalore you have it in other places also and now we are going to come up with umbrella concept where we'll touch the tier 2 and tier 3 cities of india to help them to collaborate with us share knowledge with them share best practice with them support them in doing works where it will be win 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 and win four wins will be there who is the first win the first win is always the client who is the reason why we exist why we are able to do all this work is because of our wonderful clients the second is the person who collaborates with us he is in a disadvantage position or he is not using his full capacity supporting him to excel supporting him to become knowledgeable supporting him to become a great professional is something which we have taken off as a initiative now maybe in 6 months time in every part of india we will have tier 2 tier 3 cities we will have our collaborators or associates who with whom we will be working jointly this will also trickle down as a benefit to h and a in due course of time so we are supporting others to grow just now i finished a seminar for the cgpi a uh, two hour seminar on mergers uh, demergers splits which was on refunds all of you in this firm know i have not even filed a single refund claim in my life but i took uh, i took support from venkat in bangalore